My name is Jack. For a long time, it was the only name I had known. I was born and raised in a cave by my mother. We were used to getting by, but that year the winter had been harsh. I was proud to have killed my first deer that day. And while waiting for mother to help me cure it, I decided to practice my reading. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. <laughs> he has conquered the highlands and the plain. Uh, he... The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. <laughs> Afternoon was approaching fast and mother still hadn't returned. So if I wanted to cure the meat, I had to do it on my own, else it would all go to waste. It's warmer. Now I need some wet wood to make it smoke properly. There he is. Charles the Great, the protector of my town. You're coming with me. What's that? Mother will be proud. Now, what's that noise?
Who is he? A whip. That's what he is. A whip? That means he's someone bad. I told you about people like him, remember? Is he a monk? He is. Although not an ordinary one. Maybe an official for someone important. I don't like this one bit. He looks nice, though. He's smiling. Listen, Gub. I am sorry. I know there's so much you want to know about the world out there. But for now, we must stay hidden. And never trust a man of God. Least of all his compassion, you'll either end up in a monastery or at the gallows. Get down. Easy now, it's just someone little. No need to be afraid. I'm going to follow him. You go home and wait for me, little cub. Mother? What's that mound over there? I should take a look. Don't move. We killed the pig thief in Salisbury. We can kill you too. Bloody hell, Bob. Where's the baby? Did you eat it? I don't have the baby. Right. What's this? Give it back. What do you want with this? You can't read. Give. It. Back! Leave the boy be, Alfred. He... he took the baby. I saw him take Mother's cloak. He's the only one around. Who else would have taken it? Wolves. A monk took it. A monk? Yes. On a horse. Is that true? <laughs> Where did he go? He should take us there. Leave him alone. He's just a boy. What is your name, boy? Jack. Do you live in these woods, Jack? Then you know this place better than us. Please. I don't know why I left the child. I thought I couldn't take care of him alone. But I cannot leave him to die either. I have to know if he's all right. Will you help us? You're a good lad. I owe you. If you want your silly book back, you better keep your word. For now, I had no choice. The girl was sobbing while her father remained tense but quiet. The boy kept on pushing me, which confused me greatly. I had never been hated before. If I had any plans of getting away, it would be like hunting deer. I had to stay sharp until the others forgot to be.
the monk had crossed a small stream, or he had followed its course north, which would have led him towards the next village. Either way, the tracks ended at a riverbed as evening was fast approaching. The big man looked at me. Which way, boy, he asked. But I could only guess. The stream led us to a more convenient crossing. Here, one could easily pass without getting drenched in icy water. Suddenly, the boy called out. He had spotted something on the other bank. A set of fresh hoof prints. He laughed triumphantly as our eyes locked. So, we crossed the river. The boy cheerfully mocking my skills as a tracker. What is it? He got us lost. Did you? Papa, I'm tired. That's all right. Come on, up on my shoulders you go. No, I'm too heavy and you're too tired anyway. I will remain steadfast. You should all get some rest. Alfred, stay here with them while I take a look ahead. No, don't go. I won't be far, dear. Besides, you can do me a favor while I'm gone. Have an eye on the lads and make sure they get some sleep, all right? All right. See? You are steadfast. I won't be long. You stay where I can see you while my sister rests. And no tricks. What is it? Did, did you hear something? The fog is lifting. I don't like you. Tell me, why do you care about your book so much? Wait, wh wh where is it? You sneaky thief. I knew it. You just want to rob us. You took it first. You're an animal. You don't even know what it is. The Lord and King of all France, Charles the Great, has spent seven long years fighting in Spain. He has conquered the highlands and the plain. Before him, not a single fort remains. What are you rambling on about? It's from the book. How do you know this? You're an animal. Can't you read? Hey, you see that? O over there in the fog. There is something there. What is it? A deer. It broke through the ice and died. Children! Martha, wake up, dear. Mm. Who's she? We met in the forest. I'm Jack's mother. Come here, Jack. Did you find him? Yes, dear, we did. The baby is safe. The monk brought it to a small cell not far from here. But we won't go there now. Ellen offered us shelter for tonight. 
I have. Follow me. If I'd known you lived this close, my Agnes might have been saved. Don't fool yourself. When a woman is bleeding inside, it either stops or it doesn't. All you can do is keep her warm, and you did that. I'm sorry, but the living must take care of the living. Jack, give the children some soup, will you? Will you be able to get work soon? Uh, hard to say. People don't usually hire a new master builder in winter. Too cold for stirring the water. Sometimes you get lucky, but not this year. Some time ago, I had work in Exeter. They offered me the post of builder for the Castellan to keep the walls and defences in shape. It would have kept me busy for the rest of my life. We would have lived like bishops. What happened? I refused. All I cared about was working on a cathedral again. I was a fool. <laughs> can do better than to build churches. Well, I worked on one once. That was good work. I won't ramble on now. Thank you, Jack. But if you ask Martha, she'll tell you everything about it. You know, a man like you should not beat himself so hard. No. No, there is no excuse for leaving my baby son behind. Women die in labor. Men abandon their children all the time. It is rare that they return. Is that what happened to you and your son? No. That is an altogether different story. One I haven't even told Jack yet. All I can say is, I raised him alone in this cave, outside of town law. Just us and the forest. How do you get by? We hunt. We gather. It works well enough for us, too, to survive. You can thank Jack for the meal, by the way. My little cub caught his first deer today, all by himself. I'm impressed. Eat well, children. You'll need your strength. And so do you, Master Builder. Go on, tuck in. I will. Thank you. And they're asleep now. So, what is it? I told you that the monk had taken the baby to a small cell nearby. It's true, but I advise you to stay away from there. What? Why? Because you abandoned it. That counts as murder. Then... then I have to steal him. I have to own up to what I've done. I have to take back my son. Think for a moment. You have been out of work since summer. A baby needs a lot of care. More than your other children. How will you feed him? But what am I to do then? Live like you? I don't know a thing about hunting. I'm a mason. Even in a castle I'm more at home than here. Leave the baby with the monks. He'd be warm and fed. You wouldn't have to carry him while you look for work. And when you do find something, you can come back and fetch him. I... I, I don't know. Since Agnes died, I don't know anything anymore. You're a good man, Tom Builder. You're kind, and gentle, and strong. You will do the right thing. You also don't have to go through this alone, you know. Jack and I will have to leave this place soon. The winter is too cruel, and we might not survive if we stayed. We could all travel together. I don't know. I have my hands full with my children already. I can help you take care of them. If you promise to teach my son how to get along in the world of men. We may be strangers now, but we would be at each other's side, helping out however we can. The living must take care of the living. Yes. That night I dreamed of a strange world. 
There were small castles, dead deer, and a giant called Tom. In that dream, I was happy. I tightly held my mother's hand, watching the kind giant and learning his mysterious ways.